I'm just so glad like we didn't have Instagram back when we were in high school or, or Facebook or any of that stuff. I wish we didn't have cameras. Right. Completely. <laughs> <laughs> to see hot pictures of me. I don't think we can assess him based on that one line. Um, but now it looks like she's not going to testify and the FBI is not going to do an investigation. The DOJ already came out and said, we don't do that. The FBI's job in these Supreme Court hearings is to actually make sure the person's not a threat to national security. It's a background check. Yeah. I was asking not... that question this morning because no. I thought the FBI, well, they look into criminal allegations all the time, but that's not the context. And here. they said this wouldn't be a federal crime. If it occurred, it would not have been a federal crime. So this is not our thing. Like, the we're FBI's out. role here is to conduct a background check and without further inquiry from the White House, the president's saying, you know, look into this. It's not going to happen. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I don't know that she's not going to testify. I mean, I guess her lawyer says the FBI should conduct an inquiry. I understand that position makes legal sense to me. I assume it does to you, too. But in, as a political matter, you know, it's, it's difficult because she had a moment where Republicans, many key Republicans were saying, all right, let's hear her out. Let's give her her day. Mm -hmm. And now it's unclear whether that day will come. I, I feel for her because I cannot imagine, right, having this allegation and living with it and then, you know, sort of writing it and sending it off to Feinstein and the others. And then within days, well, it wasn't in her case. It was actually a couple of weeks. But in any event, being told, now you got to say it in front of the U.S. Senate, and you're going to get cross-examined, potentially by the judge's lawyer, which is a pr the proposal of Senator Susan Collins of Maine, or by senators. Uh, and, like, can you imagine? Like, oh, my God. But the truth is, given the stakes here, um, that, that's what would be required in order to stop him from getting on the high court. And it's, it's frankly what women do every day in courts across the country when they make allegations uh, and they want to bring a civil suit or they want to bring a criminal charge. It's a high wire act for both parties because presumably the judge could be cross-examined as well. So Exactly. That was, uh, Susan Collins' proposal was her lawyer would cross-examine Brett Kavanaugh, Judge Ka Kavanaugh, and his lawyer would cross-examine her. So in any event, it doesn't look like right now it's going to happen, and which will likely lead to the Republicans having a, a vote, which we believe will lead to Judge Kavanaugh being confirmed as the next associate justice of the Supreme Court. We'll see it, how it plays out. Okay, we have a lot of other fun news to get to today, including this. Um, speaking of our high school days, yes. did you guys have homecoming queens and kings? Yeah, uh, yes. Were you the homecoming queen? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. Did we just meet? No. <laughs> no, I was I not. Was a, I, I was a homecoming princess when I was a sophomore. Well, I'm sorry. So you were homecoming royalty at I, some I, point in your life. At you some point. There was a sash. Yeah. No, um, no, well, I now they're, they're getting rid of the, the homecoming queen title. Uh, at the Chelsea High School in Chelsea, Michigan. And this is, we've seen this happen elsewhere, uh, because they say it's outdated and that it's led to some bullying and some hurt feelings. Uh, they may or may not get rid of Winter Carnival King and or Prom King and Queen. <laughs> Don't take my Winter Carnival, Carnival King. <laughs> That's right. And the question is whether we think this is a good idea. You know, I'm always mixed by this stuff because, of course, you know, I, I was never homecoming queen or even close. I would never even, I couldn't even been a write-in candidate. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, and I think there is something about it that inherently made you feel terrible. Yeah. I mean, I could kind unless of Unless you're the one person. Unless you're the one person or even the one, even being nominated, like, it wouldn't even have been a consideration for me to be homecoming queen. And I can kind of remember just like, oh, let's say, here's another thing to make me feel more fat and terrible, you know? <laughs> so I, in some ways I'm like, yeah, good riddance. Who needs mm -hmm. it? On the other hand, you know, we can't just get rid of everything in our world that might make us feel insecure or, you know, somehow inadequate. Because I think those are character builders. Yeah. And you know what? I wasn't homecoming queen. And you've seen the pictures on this show. I certainly wasn't attractive or any of those things, but I really hope that it made me work on my personality I was or say, other you know aspects what? You of You landed character. it pretty well. You so, you're homecoming queen now. Yeah, well, I don't know about that, but, you know, it's like I think we can't just try to take away everything that's difficult in life. What's difficult in life is what builds character and what makes us actually And the other beautiful. thing is, even if you got rid of homecoming queen and king and prom king and queen, you're not going to get rid of popularity and some kids being at the top of that social echelon yes. in high school. And that's something you do have to learn how to deal with. Okay. Okay. I agree with you. I don't think getting rid of the title. The, in, instead, they're having an excellence award, which is all they already so have the that. It's called valedictorian. Again. Yes. Um, okay. You were probably valedictorian. I, I absolutely was not, Miss. I scored perfect on the Arizona bar exam. <laughs> she did. Perfect score on the Arizona bar exam. Yeah. Dork. Sit. Okay. The Dork Award. I, I am dying to talk about this one with you. Oh. Should you let your children beat you at board games? Oh, God, all these difficult ones. What I know. do you say? I, I think I know. No, I do. I, uh, if I beat them, I beat them. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. I knew that. They have to get better. Now, I won't crush their spirits. That's what I love about you. If I, if I beat
beat them four times in a row, I'll give them number five. I don't want to, like, crush their spirit. My mentor, Judge Judy, taught me that. Yes. Um, but I absolutely will beat them over and over and over again. You with you like, Yardley, you know what? You made a key mistake here early on, so I beat you at chess. I, I'm like, you're seven. You, I'm 47. You'll do better later. Just keep working on it. <laughs> Because my, my philosophy on it is I'd rather have her practice losing with me, the most loving person in yes. her life, than experience it for the first time I now agree. with a little middle school. I totally agree. And this is kind of like the homecoming queen thing all over again. It it's is. like you cannot try to prevent hardship from your kid, whether it's not getting homecoming queen or losing at sorry. But I have to say I'm more of a softy than I ever thought I would be. <laughs> and sometimes in the moment I just, I think it's more just I want to keep the peace. And my daughter is like, what is I did win? You know, like she's, she doesn't handle it all that well. <laughs> all right, so I want to tell you this. The 2016 study from the Journal of Experimental Child Psychology says letting kids win can mess with their decision-making skills over the long term, and it can stunt their abilities to use right. all tools at their disposal to make the best choice. So there one you more go. thing to be guilty about. There, that's right. <laughs> and I'm going to give you another one when we come back, oh. This the question of whether we should throw our children's art away. Should you throw it away? No? Oh, my. Really? Take a guess what I do. <laughs> we'll pick it up in the three minutes. Don't go away.